Hello friends, hi, how are you today? Welcome to Discovery Time. My name is Laura and this is my sidekick over here. <laughs> and do you know what song I was just playing? Give me a thumbs up if you recognize that song. <gasps> it was Mary Had a Little Lamb. Right, so how did I play music on just glasses of water? Are you ready to find out? That's what we're gonna be experimenting with today. We're gonna to make our own water xylophones using just glasses, water, and food coloring, if you happen to have some at home. All right, you ready to get started? Yep. Yes? All right. So first we're gonna need some materials. So for today's project, you will need five identical glasses, which means that they are all the same size and the same shape. You will also need water, and a measuring cup. You'll also ideally have some watercolor so you can color your water, but if you don't have that, it'll still work. And we're gonna use some different objects for mallets. I found a metal spoon, a plastic spoon, a pencil, a metal straw, and a chopstick. We're gonna experiment with how each of these different mallets change the sound of our xylophone. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna experiment with the sound of the glasses. So first I have an empty glass. Can you tap the side of the glass gently? Mm -hmm. All right, everyone hear what that sounds like? All right, let's add some water to it and see what happens. Okay, can you tap it again? <gasps> what did you notice? Sounds a little different. It sounds different. Does it sound higher or does it sound lower? Hmm, let's try adding more water and see what happens. All right, now tap. Ooh, is it higher or lower? Lower. It is definitely lower. Can everyone make their voices lower like this? Lower. lower. <laughs> so the more water you have in the glass, the lower the sound is going to be. All right, so now we are going to fill up all of our glasses. So I have, how many glasses here do I have? Let's count them. One, five. two, three, four, five glasses. This one is gonna have the most water. We're gonna use about one and three quarters cups of water. We're gonna pour it into the glass. Our second glass is going to be one and a half cups of water, which we'll measure in our measuring cup. Pour this in. Okay, so then our next one is going to be one and one quarter cups of water. You see it, you can measure it right. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to pour that into this one here. Do you want to pour that in? Sure. Beautiful. Cool. All right, and then our next one will be one cup of water. And then our last one will be one quarter cup of water. Do you want to pour that in here? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see how it sounds. Go for it. <gasps> nice! <laughs> and then for the last. And if your xylophone does not sound exactly like that, no worries. You can pour water out, you can add more water. Just play around with the levels until you get the right pitch that you enjoy hearing with your ears. So now to make it a little bit more interesting, we're gonna add some food coloring to our glasses. All right, so the first one we're gonna to add to the one with the most water, we're gonna add the color blue. Just because to me, the color blue sounds like a deep color. <laughs> and our glass with the most water has a deep pitch. <laughs> oh, that's not deep. <laughs> All right, do you wanna add three color or three drops? Mm -hmm. Actually, two drops. One, oh, it's okay. it's fine. two, all right, and then 
That is so cool. <laughs> you want to? Ooh, that is very cool. I like think there's just like a big circle. That's neat. You want to mix it all together? Mm -hmm. I don't want this piece. Of I know it does look really neat. All right, we got blue. All right. Our next one we're gonna make is green. How, what colors do we have to put together to make green? Yes. Blue and yellow. Blue and yellow, all right. Would you like to add some blue and some yellow drops? Maybe two time. of each at the same time you're gonna do them? Okay. That looks so cool. All right. One, two. Nice. All right, you wanna mix it? Oh, it's like magic. 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 <laughs> All right, our next one we're gonna do yellow. Mm -hmm. Plain old yellow. Plain old yellow. Maybe another one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's make it dark. Here you go. Oh my god, it was so quick. <laughs> what is that? Keep moving. Okay. All right. And then our next one's gonna be orange. Now, what colors do we need to mix together to make Red orange? And yellow. Red and yellow. Oh, I have a fun idea. Okay, what's your fun idea? Here you go. One. Oh, see? <laughs> so mixing colors can be part of the fun. One, two. There we three. go. It looks cooler. Oh, dramatic. <laughs> very dramatic. Ooh, that is very pretty. Well, I made a mess, so. Uh -uh. This happens when you do that. It does. Here, let's Just... take a napkin. That's why we always have paper towels nearby. All right, and can we mix it together? Hold on. Okay. <laughs> and then what do you think our last color is going to be? What's starts with it starts with an R. Red? Red. Let's put some red in here. I'm going to do some flowers. One, two, three. See. <gasps> sorry. I almost took your That's job. I'm not. so sorry. All right, well, there we go. Now we have our rainbow colored xylophone made of water and glasses. Yay! So now it's time to play. You play what? Play our music. You ready to go? Is there a song? Sure, or just kind of play around just to see what, what sounds it makes. a metal spoon. What if we tried a different object? What about a pencil? Do you think it would change the sound? That's yes, a spoon, a yeah. So it's a little bit softer with the pencil. What if you hit the glass in different areas? So gently, make sure we do it gently. That's on the bottom. Can I try? Mm -hmm. Side. Top. It's not kind of the same, huh? <laughs> what about the chopstick? What would the chopstick sound like? So you do this. So do it at the same time. Glass. What do you notice about the water inside Ooh, the glass? Let me think about that. Well, the, oh, wait, wait. Let's start from the beginning. Okay. Like the object. Now look so at the water in the top. Kind of shakes. It shakes a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's some vibrations happening in the water. Wrinkles. The wrinkles. Yeah, it does look oh, like that's wrinkles. Mmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think the vibrations do? Why are they important? Any ideas? The sound? Right? Yeah, the sound. Have you ever done this? Touch your throat uh, and go, ah. Uh, uh, what does it feel like? Ah, uh, does it's it? Vibrating. It vibrates, huh? Yeah, it vibrations. Yeah, the vibrations are the sound. And your voice box. 
in your voice box. Yeah. So, <laughs> so the vibrations are the sounds. So when you tap the glass, you see the shapes, you see the vibrations? That's the sound as well. That's making the sounds. Really like something if like you make a high pitch voice. You don't really you don't really feel it. Interesting. Well let's try that. Now make a low one. Uh, for sure. Like high is high is like you can't feel it. Uh-huh. But it's like when you do low, like ooh. Yeah, you really feel the vibrations. But when you go that's kind of interesting because like, you know our, this one is the highest and it doesn't have a lot of water to vibrate in the glass so look but the blue has a lot of water that vibrates look, look, in the glass let's do the we're gonna try the metal spoon and the plastic spoon okay so first stop is the metal spoon all right that's the metal now for the plastic Yeah, that was much quieter. It's more soothing sound. <laughs> All right, my friends. Well, I hope that you had fun experimenting with your water xylophone at home. I no, I had a lot of fun. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, and also it's fun to just like mix the colors up. I know. I know. Not only did we get to make music, we also got to mix colors in water, which is super beautiful and fun, right? <laughs> All right, my friends. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye. Thank you for watching our virtual Purple Museums broadcast. If you're enjoying this content, please consider making a donation to support our efforts. Our broadcasts are every Tuesday and Thursday on Facebook and YouTube. Visit us online and in person. Bill's Backyard, the museum's outdoor educational space, is open every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Stay in the loop by joining our email list. Visit www.cdm.org for more information.